What's up guys? So today I've got a really fantastic cocktail for you and it comes from a bartender I've been a fan of for a very long time. Her name is Ivy Mix. Uh, she is bartending in uh, New York City. Not only is she a bartender, but she's a bar owner. She owns a bar in Brooklyn called Leenda and it is fantastic. They do kind of a mix between, it kind of seems to me like a mix between sort of Latin American spirits and tiki which I think is fantastic. Because I think Latin American spirits really lend themselves to tiki pretty well. Uh, as you can see, I have a book out here and I have a new apron on and there is a reason for that. We are doing a giveaway and this is how it's gonna work. It's gonna be on Instagram because YouTube has some weird rules about giveaways that we just can't deal with. So go to our Instagram, at The Educated Barfly and find a post that features this book and me wearing this apron or just this apron. I haven't decided what the picture is gonna be yet. Uh, comment below that and then go follow Ivy Mix and go follow Staggerly Goods. I think it's at Ivy Mix and at Staggerly Goods. Make sure that you're following all three and then we will run the, um, we will run the post for a week. At the end of the week, we will randomly select a winner. We will check to make sure you are following all the accounts which is following The Educated Barfly, following Ivy Mix, and follow Staggerly Goods and you will be able to win this apron and this book. So the greatest thing about Ivy Mix is that she is a expert on Latin American spirits and she wrote this amazing book, which I'm gonna pick up and let you look through a little bit because the photography in this book is fantastic. I'm just gonna, just Marius didn't know I was gonna do this. So I'm just gonna like, just like go and kind of show you through the book a little bit. Just these really fantastic photography. Uh, I Did I show that enough? Marius? Yeah. Eh, ish. Okay. Uh, sometimes I'm a little too fast with my hands. Go buy so the book if you want to see the rest. Yeah, go buy the book if you want to see the rest uh, or try and win it. Uh, either way, uh, there will be a link for, there will, there will be a link below to buy the book and there will be a Instagram post for you to try and win it. Uh, but it is really fantastic and it just breaks down all of the different Latin American spirits. I haven't been able to get through all of it yet. I'm reading a couple other books at the moment as well. So uh, I really need to do a deep dive on this and we will definitely be doing a Barfly Free Pour uh, book review on it. Uh, so let's get into making this cocktail now that we've talked about all of that and you know that we're doing another giveaway. The first thing we're gonna do is just half an ounce of Orsha almond syrup. Then we're gonna do half an ounce of Pierre Ferrand dry Curacao. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Push that this way. Uh, we are gonna do one ounce of mezcal. Oh man, stay up there. We're gonna do one ounce of mezcal. Now here's the thing. Uh, the original calls for the uh, Del Maguey Chichicapa mezcal but I don't have it. And I tested it with the Lopez Real and I really like it, so that's what I'm using. But if you wanna do this cocktail the way that it would have been done or that it is done at Leyenda, because this is a uh, cocktail that is regularly featured on their menu, then you will get it with that mezcal, just FYI. One ounce of Appleton Signature. I don't know if I really said much about this, but basically this is the first cocktail that IV Mix put on the menu at a a uh, bar uh, that she was working at in Lower Manhattan called Lani Kai, which is permanently closed now. And then she now regularly features it at her own bar, which she should, because I think it's gonna be fantastic. So we just do a little Scotia Crushed, or Pebble for that matter. Give it a nice little whip shake. Still working on my sprezzatura. And then we're gonna dump and fill the rest with pebble ice. And then we're gonna add a little mint sprig. If I can clean this mint sprig up without hurting myself. I kind of feel like there's too much leaves on this one. There's like, there's like one too many leaves, one too many lines of leaves on each one of these here. 
There we go, there we go. Give it a nice bushy mint sprig. Twist that off. Give it a little slappy and a crushy poo. Slappy Pants McGill. Then we're just gonna add it right in here like this and give it a nice little orchid varnish on the side like that. Ah, I love it. Nice and, just nice and simple. My favorite. Oh man, but there is nothing simple about that complex flavor combination. Whoa, so, so masterfully done on the lime juice, orja, and the dry curacao. So the dry curacao is providing a little bit of sweetness, but it's really drying things out. And then you get the orja, which gives it not only a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of savory sweetness at that, but it also gives it a little bit of body and kind of a silky mouthfeel. You've got your lime juice in there, three quarters of an ounce, which is gonna really, uh, you know, kind of shine through those um, ingredients because you're, it's not sweet enough to, so, oh, it's not sweet enough to like fully, it's like not, this is, it's not, a, it's not a negative thing. It's not sweet enough to take down that tartness, but you want that tartness in the cocktail. And then you're really drying things out from the curacao, but all of that, but the sugar that's in, in that really does give it a nice balance. And then you have the smokiness of the mezcal with the Jamaican rum, which is fantastic. That is a, that is a stroke of genius in this drink. It is just so, pleasing and you get this amazing interplay between the kind of hogo notes of the mess of the of the of the Jamaican rum and you get those smoke notes of the um mezcal? the mess I'm trying to just get deep into my okay. thing am I frustrating you because I'm like just really thinking about it and like it sounds like we were try I'm trying to work though. it out in my brain is what's happening I don't think you were trying to work out the name of the. Spirit. No, you're just you're just you're just messing with my process, all right. And now you now like you you've completely taken me out of flow. All right, so you get the smokiness of the mezcal, but what's great about the mezcal is that it also has an inherent sort of minerality to it and an inherent citriness, citri citrusiness to it that kind of plays back into the lime, uh, and that's why it's so good with that particular kind of tartness, you know. Uh, so there it is, uh, the Tia Mia. It is a fantastic drink. I love it. Tia Mia means my aunt in Spanish. I'm not sure if that's what she was going for, but that, it, that, that is what it, it means. So, yeah, I don't know. That's what I got for you. Enjoy the cocktail. Good luck on the giveaway. Go to our Instagram channel. Do what I said you'd do. You might win this. Awesome combination. And now you will not only get this amazing Mexican print um, apron from Staggerly Goods, but then you will also get the Spirits of Latin America from Ivy Mix. I think that's a pretty fantastic deal if you win. So go in there and do your comments and do your follows and everything, and, uh, and it might be yours. And I'll see you guys on another time. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Hit like and subscribe. It really helps us out when you do that. Uh, leave comments if you'd like. Even if they're crappy comments, they still help us out. That engagement really, really does uh, wonders for us. Um, we have a bottle buy program on our site, theeducatedbarfly.com. So just go there and you can check out a list of bottles that you can virtually buy us. We will then put your name, not physically, but we will put your name into a spreadsheet that says you bought that bottle and we will mention your name every single time we use it. Marius is laughing at me because he thinks is I'm it, like... Well, this is all we're explaining again. Like, you well, why? because I don't it's want like, them to think like, to dude, Steve sheet. the bartender puts a tag, like right. a physical tag with I people's know, names on it. I just don't want them to think that they're going to get a physical tag with their name no, on it. Because A, funny. my handwriting sucks, and B, I don't want to go to Staples and get tags. That's, and C, we're not going to do that. We're just going to know that's fine. somehow. But I want them to rest assured, Marius. I want them to rest assured and know that we are on top of it. That we know who bought each bottle and that we fully appreciate it. That's why I say that. Yeah, but it's like, it goes on the spreadsheet and then it's this right. Then we're gonna look at it on phone. We found I mean, the you can sit here and break my balls, but I'll tell you one thing though. The tables have turned quite a bit because I have stopped breaking your balls back. So now you look like a jerk. <laughs> That's my ploy. Everyone thought I was a dick for a while, but it's really you. I <laughs> Comment below and we'll see. I'm sure I'm not the only one that was thinking that, but. Yeah, maybe not, you know? I don't know. I'm a bit long-winded and I over-explain things. That's just who I am. And I'm just gonna say this. 
like Popeye. I am what I am. All right? So you, and you're going to have to deal with it because we oh, do this I, together. I deal so. with it every day. Yeah, you have to deal with it. <laughs> I, I know because sometimes I'll call him up five different times for different things. And I know it irritates him. And I do it because it irritates him. Now we've got to go because this is going to melt and we need to shoot pictures of the thumbnail. Um, and I'm really, I don't think that, uh, I don't think that, uh, that, that Alfred or Ivy really appreciate this <laughs> outro to this drink. We've had a, a wonderful night of shooting cocktails. I do not know why we've gotten into this weird, long, drawn out talking in the last two videos that we shot, but I guess we'll see how it does in comments and stuff. Okay, see you guys another time. Bye.